So, you know, still equipment shops are full, they're backed up. So, I mean, if a tractor goes down, it may be two, three weeks before we can get it back in the field and running. When your car breaks down, you have a choice of places to get it fixed, but that isn't the case for farmers, especially since their equipment is getting more advanced. In a lot of these cases, it's not that the farmers aren't capable of making those repairs, but sometimes they're not legally allowed to. WCI3's Cole Hankey joins us live in Springfield tonight. So, Cole, farmers say they'd like to actually change this entire process. That's right. Farmers already operate in small windows. Planting and harvesting season can sometimes come down to just a few weeks of good weather. So when they have to wait days or sometimes even weeks for a combine to get repaired, it can throw a whole wrench in the system. Technology has made life much easier in a lot of ways for farmers. But when they need repairs, it's the technology that often gives them the biggest headaches. So what's happening is now if a machine goes down, we're at the mercy of the dealership waiting on them to either come out for a service call to the farm or to be able to get into their shop. Proprietary laws make it so the dealerships they buy their equipment from are really the only places they can take them to get fixed. Farmers tried to change that this year with the Right to Repair Act. Because it's kind of giving us a nice compromise that it is asking the manufacturers to go and open that up to third party and other vendors, but it's asking them to sell the technology, sell the licensing, so that way they can get into it. So we are respecting their trademarks. If equipment breaks down, farmers have to get it to a dealership. Those are already few and far between, but then they have to wait for the repairs too, wasting precious time. You and I have a choice of where we want to take our car to be fixed, you know, whether it's um, uh, an actual dealership or a private uh, repair shop, you know, we have that choice. So why can't farmers have that choice? This isn't just a problem in Illinois. Several farmers I spoke with today said they've heard from others in different states experiencing the same issues. But it gets complicated when you start dealing with copyright laws. Hey, we've got to respect uh, copyrights too. So I mean, the manufacturers, you know, they're lobbying, they want to protect their copyrights and we have got to respect that too. Now, the current bill that the Farm Bureau's pushed in the House actually didn't make it out of the out of committee before the deadline. So those Farm Bureaus are going back to the drawing board and trying to negotiate a new policy that can really get this cha these changes made. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader.